Hello everybody, welcome back to another Helldivers 2 video. Today, we're going to be discussing a hot topic in the fight for democracy. The rail cannon versus the laser. Which one is better? Which one will come out on top as the true king? Before we get started here, I want you guys to go down in the comments and duke it out a little bit. Let everybody know which one you like to run. And with that, let's get started. First thing we need to discuss, what's your end goal with these orbitals? Are you trying to feel like David going up against Goliath as you throw a pebble into the forehead of a bile titan and watch it get obliterated off super earth like it was never even there? Or do you want to let freedom ring for 25 solid seconds and watch the fireworks show of an automaton factory get obliterated in seconds as you throw one single laser into the middle of it? The choice is up to you. Do you want to be the unsung hero or do you just want to watch the world burn? Now when it comes to unlocking these, you're going to get the laser a lot sooner at level 15, where you have to wait all the way until level 20 before you get the rail cannon. Now, getting that at level 15 may not seem like a huge jump from 15 to 20, but it really is. Especially if you haven't unlocked the Helldive difficulty yet at level 9, you can use that orbital laser to get you there to unlock it and get XP a lot faster and help you in that fight. It's going to be a pivotal moment when you do unlock that. And now when it comes to the rail cannon, I wouldn't say it's a pivotal moment. It is good and there are plenty of things that you do unlock at that level that are also good, but it is very helpful, but I wouldn't say it's as helpful when it comes to experience and leveling up. Now, we can't compare these two orbitals without comparing their cooldown timers. The Rail Cannon wins at 210 second cooldown, putting it middle of the pack compared to other orbitals. But the laser, on the other hand, is at 300 seconds of a cooldown, making it the slowest by a long shot. Now, you can improve both of these by 10% by getting the third tier of the orbital cannons under your ship modules called Zero G Breach Loading. That will reduce everything by 10%, making the reload of the laser 270 seconds and the reload of the rail cannon 189. Now, they're still slow, but they're significantly better once you get that module. The cooldowns are great and all, but it comes down to how many times can I use these in a game. The rail cannon's going to win here, obviously. It is unlimited uses, but it is very limited use case, right? You have to really just use it on big things. There's often more than one Bile Titan or more than one Hulk, but it is still very useful in the fact that you can just keep using it, run out that timer, take out small enemies, and then take out the next Hulk or whatever. It makes it way easier to clear spots for you with big enemies. Now, the laser, you have three uses. You have to be really strategic on where you use it. Do you want to use it against a Bile Titan? Do you want to use it to try to clear an automaton factory? That limits everything, especially with the big 300 second or 270 second gap in between those three uses. That's going to play a pivotal role in how you choose and strategize to take on the mission with your fellow Hell Diver. Now you may be asking yourself, which orbital is best in the fight for democracy? And you know what, my friends? I would like to say it's the orbital laser. That's not to say that the Braille cannon is not good. I still use it. I bring it in with me, but it is very specific. It is very case dependent. It's still got a long wait time. I'm only killing one enemy. Whereas the laser, I love this thing, man. You can just let freedom sing. You throw it, you forget it. It does everything for you. Let me know what you guys think. What do you use? What do you like more? Some people might fight me to the death on that the rail cannon is better. Sure, I'll take it. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys out there in the fight for democracy.